Hello, hello, welcome back to another melting basket video. I'm very excited to be doing this because I just love filling up my basket, going through my wax. It's seriously like, it just makes me so excited. So I actually just put two things in my warmers right now, so I need stuff for the rest of my warmers. So it's time to go through this. So I'll go ahead and get started with my loaf. This was from L3. It was in, I think this was, oh no, this wasn't de-stashed to me. I think I just purchased it. It's in White Elephant Exchange, which is like a super vanilla-y blend with strawberry pound cake, banana, and zucchini bread. This was so bright and fun. I feel like the banana and the strawberry pound cake together really shined. I don't think I remember smelling any zucchini bread now that I'm looking at these scent notes. It definitely was the strawberry pound cake the banana and then like the vanilla from the white elephant exchange it was really good a really nice like all over the house kind of clean fruity smell i really did enjoy that one i had a couple from do i want to keep it with l3 i should probably do that right okay so i have i think just these two left this was a little bunt in peach nectar cotton candy and gold sugar this was so good i think i said this in my last melting basket but like i feel like peach and pineapple are two scent notes that are so rare in the wax community for people to like and we in our family love them this was so good the peach so strong in this i adored it it was very peach forward loved it this i think is the last l3 i just just put this in my warmer it was a sample of white woods vanilla balsam cider lane and peppered suede i like i'm not kidding it literally five seconds ago just got put in the warmer i cannot give a full review of this quite yet but i remember thinking it smelled weird on cold so you know what we'll see we'll see if my opinions change we'll see um next let's go ahead and do rose girls I have a couple from Rose Girls. This, both of them are, I think it's just these two, were mini melters. This first one is Mario's Home for the Holidays, which is Christmas Wish, Oh Christmas Tree, Toasted Marshmallow, Royal Sugar Cookie, and Vanilla Bean Noel. A very Christmas tree forward scent, but it was really good. Like, I know, I know, it's the end of summer and I'm melting Christmas. Like, how dare I skip fall? But it was pretty good. Like, I'm not gonna lie, very Christmas tree, very balsamy through really really well and then the other one i had from rose girls is night shift which is espresso french vanilla latte and cookie land this was a wonderful coffee blend i love a good coffee scent in the house this one shined it was very good next let's do the pharmacist's daughter i have a few from them um the first is freshly baked which is coffee house pie crust zucchini bread and funnel cake i have melted this before and really enjoyed it and this was another one it's just really good it's a really good coffee the funnel cake isn't too cinnamony which i prefer a cinnamony funnel cake but i feel like this with this blend it's really good i really enjoyed that this is coconut zucchini bread zucchini bread coconut shortbread cookies and coconut cream pie for some reason coconut shortbread cookies and coconut cream pie to me lean vanilla y like they're in the same like they're like cousins to vanilla. So I just really felt like this was a really good like vanilla-esque zucchini bread scent. It was very calming, really nice. This was 7-Up Pound Cake, Vanilla Pound Cake, 7-Up Pound Cake, Pineapple, Coconut, and Vanilla Buttercream. This one was lighter. Now that I'm thinking about it, it did smell very fizzy from the 7-Up Pound Cake, but I don't remember that Pineapple, Coconut, Vanilla Buttercream like at all. It was just like a little bit of fizzy pound cake scent. So that was from The Pharmacist's Daughter. Next, let's go ahead and do uh, Bewitching Wax because I had pretty good experience with my Bewitching Wax. So the first thing here is Vecna's Curse. This was a perfect outdoor blend of clean breeze, spiced woods, vanilla, and musk. I will say this time and time again about Bewitching Wax, but if I smell it on cold, it just smells like coconut wax to me. It just smells like the coconut wax. And this is 100% a case of it needs to be warmed up before you make any assumptions because their wax is so good on warm it's just phenomenal so this was amazing it was like it was the perfect outdoor blend it just like it was such a nice kind of like masculine outdoorsy scent i adored that and then the other one i had here is the guardians which is warm tea and cakes a hint a hit of espresso plus a sweet bourbon cream this one was okay i felt like I liked the espresso part of this, but I just felt like the tea and cakes with this was a little off-putting, but I still, it still performed so, so well, and I just, that's like, if that's the only bad thing I have to say, then so be it. Um, next we'll do, I have a couple of randoms. I have Villainous Wax here, which is Pirate's Water, that oceany and chemically smell we all know and love. It definitely did smell like the Pirates of the Caribbean water that's at Disney World. That is such a, like, nostalgic scent for me i love it more than anything so this was incredible wish i had a hundred of those and then from nerdy wax 
This was Lady Tremaine Green Tea and Honey and Fresh Cotton. This was a really light scent. I don't really remember smelling this one too much. Popped it in, didn't think anything of it, so it just like wasn't anything to remember. And then last but not least, we have our Fantasy Wax. I have a couple shot cups here. First one is in Coconut Cream Pie, Coconut Butter, Creamy Vanilla Base. Again, it just gives like a vanilla, coconutty scent. It was very calm and nice. Boom Boom type though. This, on the other hand, incredible by itself. Through Like a Champ, our entire bedroom smelled so good. So, so good. I was obsessed with that one. Then I had some snap bars up first. Oh, this one was so good. I was so disappointed too because I melted this all at once. Like I broke the snap bar up and put it all up in our upstairs. And as soon as it was like going, I was like, oh, I wish I had more of this. Uh, this is called White. It was from the Red, White, and Blue 4th of July collection a few years back. It is freshly squeezed lemonade. It truly does just smell like freshly squeezed spring, summertime lemonade. It is so good. I adored that. And then, oh, we had Rita Skeeter, which I think I have a few more of these. This is strawberry shortcake and vanilla pound cake. I like the strawberry shortcake oil. It's not my favorite strawberry cake oil, but it's so like sweet and delicious. And then mixed with that vanilla pound cake, this was a, this was good. This was really good. And then this was my star, okay? Country gift shop. This is my fall scent. This was so good. It smelled like a country gift shop. It smelled like potpourri and fall. Grandma's house in the Halloween time. It was incredible. Absolutely adored that one. So that is all of my empties. Let's fill it up. First and foremost, I'm being annoying again. I made myself a loaf and I didn't label it once again. This is definitely a Kirsten's fave scent though. I think this was like the blackberry jam butter cookies pretzel one for sure. That's what it smells like to me. There's some glitter in it, which is weird. Yeah, it definitely smells like a pretzel-y, funnel cakey maybe. Maybe, I don't know. It's a bakery scent. Hello? Oh, my cat just climbed into an H&M bag. She's still doing it. That's where she lives now. So, it's, it's bakery something. It's gonna be good. I'm excited to have that. I have some more Rose Girls. This first one here I'm super excited for. This is Fall Farmhouse. It's Blueberry Pumpkin Patch, which Blueberry Pumpkin Patch is one of my favorite fall oils. Big Zucchini Red and Marshmallow Fireside. I'm so looking forward to this. Yeah, it's amazing. The blueberry, it's like a hint of blueberry. It's very marshmallow fireside, big zucchini bread heavy, but I'm so excited. Another Rose Girls I have here is Super Sweet Mario, Pink Sugar, Royal Sugar Cookie, Marshmallow Smoothie, and Cotton Candy Frosting. Mmm. The pink sugar in this is predominant and amazing. And then you definitely get that cotton candy frosting. It's a very sweet, sweet pink sugar. I really like that. I have like no space in here. I have this massive little souffle, massive little, a massive souffle here from Birdie's Making Sense. This is talk turkey to me. This is so cute. Pumpkin peanut brittle and a hint of salted caramel. This thing is massive and filled like all the way to the top, so I'm gonna be careful. Mm. That pumpkin peanut brittle is so good. It's like, I like the pumpkin peanut brittle oil because it's very, oh, that was annoying. Oh, even more annoying. It's very, um, like a salty pumpkin. It's just really good. I, I really like it. So I'm excited to cut into that. I have some more pharmacist daughter here. The first one I have is lemon drop, lemon curd, lemon sugar, marshmallow fluff, and sugar waffle cone. Oh boy. Yeah, it's very cleaner lemon. I think I bought this as a part of a like collection that they did. It's not my favorite, but I'll melt it. Probably a bathroom scent. This here is King Cake, which is morning beignet, French custard, sugar cookie dough, and cinnamon sugar donuts. I believe I've melted this in the past. It's really, really good. It's really good on that morning beignet. I really like that. That's a good scent. Oh, I have a hair on me. And then I have this pharmacist daughter here, which is Arcade Era. This is cream soda, cotton candy, and summer scoop. That sounds really fun. Mmm, that is really good. I feel like the summer scoop and the cream soda just go together really nicely. That's a fun surprise. I do quite like that. Um, I have another Bewitching Wax Co. These cute little Hocus Pocus shapes. This is Thackeray Bing style. What is it? Vow Mangy Feline. Caramel Apple Crisp. Fresh Farm Stand Cider. And a Perfect Autumn type. So excited. These are so cute. Once again, it just smells like that coconut wax with maybe a hint of like a fall leaves kind of scent note, but I know this is gonna shine on warm, so I'm very excited for that. 
Um, I also have another one here from Bewitching Wax. This is Pastel Goth. Cider Lane Freshly Cut Wood, Fur Needle, Patchouli, and Vanilla. And this one's really cute. Look at that. Oh, it's upside down. That's super cute. Mmm! I can kind of smell the fur needle and the patchouli a bit in this one, which is, probably means it's going to be a powerhouse. So I'm very excited for this one as well. I kind of make a lot of room in here. Um, we'll go this way. I have a couple of snap bars. Actually, let's do this clamshell first. I have a clamshell here. This is from Fantasy Wax, Dark Mark, Sugar Corn Pudding, and Zucchini Bread. I'm, this is a classic. This was actually requested to come back recently, and I did it because it's amazing. Yeah, it's phenomenal. I cannot wait to melt that. I have a couple of snap bars from Fantasy Wax as well. Oh, there are the other two from the 4th of July collection. Hot Apple Pie, red. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Very hot apple pie, cinnamony, that's gonna be so good. And blue s'mores. I never, ever, ever will doubt this s'mores oil. This s'mores oil is so good. It smells like cinnamon graham crackers and marshmallow. Like, I hardly smell any chocolate. It's fantastic. I have some bunts from L3. This first one is Jolly AF. For those of us who are a little bit extra around the holidays, a grande half calf roasted coffee with no sugar added, hazelnut flavoring made with organic fair trade coconut milk. Alrighty. Mmm. That is an absolutely delicious coffee smell. I do quite enjoy that. Looking forward to that. This next L3 is zucchini bread, vanilla wafers, and warm vanilla sugar. Ooh. That's so good. I love warm vanilla sugar with bakery. I think it is just so good. The last L3 I have is peppermint and steel sugar. Ooh. That is amazing. That peppermint is so good. I haven't melted peppermint in a while. I love that. I have my freebie here, which this is the biggest like freebie ever from Birdies. This is mango and coconut milk. I don't know if I'm gonna like this at all. And the funny thing is, oh. okay, so here's the funny thing is, I have to cut this, which is a freebie, which is hilarious. When I first smelled this, when I first got this, this was poured over almost two years ago. I smelled the coconut milk and I did not like it, but it's been sitting, okay? And that mango has shined. That is pretty good, and it's the shape of a cheese. Last but not least, I have two shot cups from Fantasy Wax. The first is Winifred Sanderson, Cinnamon Sugar, Balsam, and Cedar Wood. Mmm. Outside during the fall time. That's good. And the last one is Cinnamon Sugar Pretzel. Mmm, that is Cinnamon Sugar Pretzel. It is so pretzely, salty, yeasty. I, I want to melt that soon. That's so good. Y'all, that's my basket. It is full today. Like, it is a full, full basket. But I'm very excited to cut into some stuff, start melting. I'm oh, I'm so happy. I feel like this is such a good basket. Nothing that I'm, like, too worried about, to be quite honest with you. So, well, except for maybe that lemon one. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.